dogs think they're going to get this out of me. I don't think so. <clears throat> I've been sampling this morning. They're way better after a couple of days. One of them has yeah, so-so, but it may have just been the cut of meat that I got. And hey, obviously, if you watched yesterday's video, you know that around equipment, the audio from this phone absolutely freaking sucks. I was really disappointed in that. I mean, my old phone, I had people talking about how great it was when I was on the skid steer because they didn't know I had the skid steer running. Skid steer was running. Same RPMs as I always run it. About three quarters throttle. And uh, obviously, microphone on this phone doesn't like that. Well, I got to go ahead to uh, revamp this thing. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I think it's in the right spot. A little low spot around that hole. Well, number two is the one that put this together. And she didn't tighten them very tight. That's how thin the wall is on these tubes, which is what I expected. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do, besides straighten the tabs on the crossbars, that one she barely had the bolt in it. I'm going to make sure they fit nicely, and I'm just going to weld them on. They don't have to be bolted. They don't. I don't think they're going to plan on moving the thing around. And I will replace the bottom tubes because I. Yeah, I ain't going to get that sucker straight enough to do anything with. I can get rid of that channel piece because I'll weld direct to the tube and gusset it. I will gusset down at the bottom with some close gussets and then I'll brace it out to here, probably up to where that cross piece is. Well, I figured good time to work on this right now. I just got to get it apart. Before I can start, and let's see, it's up a little, it was 39 now, it was 37 when I came out a couple hours ago, Ah, eh, number two made it to school today, they were, shit it is bright on the camera, it's wet out, they were talking on the news last night, Depending on when the moisture came in and depending on when a cold may or may not come in, this morning could have been worse than yesterday morning. So she got up extra early. I didn't even hear her leave. She was in Hillsboro at 5 o'clock when I texted her to make sure she was up. <laughs> it's like, okay. She talked about maybe getting up at 4.30 just to make sure. So she's been in class for, I don't know, the last half hour, 45 minutes anyway. And it started raining. Would have started raining after she got to school, so. She shouldn't have had any trouble. But yeah, I'm going to torment the dogs. Huh, Rainy? All the others are just laying. And I'm going to get this thing apart and see what I can do with it. I was just going to comment about how nice this one was being. This isn't the one from the very end of yesterday's. This is the other one that hadn't been tied before. But she's decided she doesn't have to pull on that rope. Still, it might be lead, but... And uh, yeah, the one behind the post not. standing there is that one she calls Blakely. That's been tied before that was tied with him. And the one laying down there was one of the ones that was tied before that she brought back in last night. The Blakely's not tied up. She just snuck into this cow's hole. Try to keep a calm one next to him. And seemed to help having a calm one on each side of her. And I wonder if she shouldn't shuffle him around and take the little kick kicker girl down there and put her between the two calm ones. But she's, she's, she's alright being tied there now. That's 90% of the battle. Because that means if she sticks around, if she's a two-year-old or a three-year-old or even a six or seven-year-old and 
she's in the wrong spot having troubles with the calf. They can get a halter on her and get her tied. Hopefully she won't try to kill us or tear the barn down, right? But at any rate, I still gotta sit here and watch until she gets done with these two little ones. Because she don't want to be by herself, you know what I mean? Especially the way that one down there has been acting. Hopefully she calms down. Well, the other wild one went back into her hole nicely. And now this is the one that was kicking at her last night. And jumping up in the air and praying. And she's still going to be that way. And she's going to cry about it. Obviously, she's thirsty this morning. It's always good when you don't have to drag them clear back up. And now one behind number one, she's still wandering freely. But looky there. That's a lot better than last night. They're still... I don't think these two little ones are going to get perfect or get as good as these other two. I think Blakely even knows what the halter is, but she wants to play now. And Blue's about to get his butt whooped. Blue and Red both like to do sneak attacks like that. Blue! I wouldn't. Well, there you have the rodeo for today so far. At least the morning rodeo. Well, I got the old pieces apart. Got the tabs for the wheels welded on the new pieces. Those are three inches longer. They were only 33 inches. and Those things there, I mean, it was yeah, right to the outside edge, more or less. So I figure a little better understanding ain't going to hurt a bit. I happen to have one piece of eighth wall sitting outside one piece in here and this piece that was across the bottom to stiffen it they only welded on the inside they only welded in here and left the rest open the worst thing is it's all powder coat i hate powder coat the reason is you got to clean everything up good before you can weld it and even then it's going to start burning off everywhere else that's all burnt powder coat mm -hmm. there you should have seen the smoke gotta love it that is some nasty freaking smoke too. And there was a spot, uh, I missed where it was, oh I know where it was. I welded over them. Since they powder coated, you know, it kinda, well, left an edge. That's all powder coat needs is one little edge and it just peels, it doesn't give. Like where these kinked, it doesn't give. And see the rust? That rust was there before because there was a gap somewhere in the powder coat. So you got something that looks beautiful on the outside, gets a little moisture under it, and it can't get away, all it does is rust. When we lived in town, we had uh, vinyl picket fence, and the gates had a metal frame that were powder coated white to match the vinyl. That was great. If the material is not perfectly clean and prepped, powder coat doesn't adhere worth a damn and if it gets a little bubble under it then the condensation hmm. yeah took about 10 years and I had to rebuild the gates because the tubing literally rusted clear through so anyway that's what I'm thinking with but I'm gonna grab some lunch yeah I'm still working on this damn thing not doing what I wanted to do but it's what they're gonna get um, from what I can tell, the holes they had here, I ran them out to quarter inch. They're, they're right at quarter. Um, they would have been six millimeter holes, which is just eh, barely short of quarter inch. 
just enough there's a little bit of shavings on the ground that's it and they put a two and a half or three millimeter bolt in the hole that's just freaking brilliant and then of course these it's thin enough wall that they're sunk in those are just back on there for lining up i think i'm going to leave the bolts in the holes though when i'm done because it keeps bees from getting in and hey, it's at a winery they don't need to pull the bees this side i gotta tighten it i just got them all drilled and stuck the bolts in and i'm just using the little dewalt driver to tighten those because you know i don't want to break the bolts but i want them tight i had a couple of grade two bolts you know, there's broken pieces on the floor but anyway that's where i'm at at the moment i'm gonna get this one Get all those tightened up and uh, knock the freaking powder coat off around here. So I got a place to weld. Already knocked it off up there. And I'll get it bolted and try to get things lined up the way they should be. But, you know, something with metric stuff, they just seem to have a way of making oversized holes for their bolts. I think it's all because they can't figure out how to line holes up to begin with. So you just make everything oversized and hope that the bolts will fit. I don't know. Quality, man. Quality. So that's where I'm at. And then uh, get somebody to help me set it up on top of the other. Because it's going to weld right here. And see what I have to brace with. I'm going to brace it from both ends of this tube and I'm probably not going to come up real high because I don't know how the chairs sit over here. I think there should be plenty of the chairs probably come to about here, but I don't want to get it in the way. It still needs to be on the tubes. So I should have some one inch square over there long enough to do it. I only really need maybe eight feet of it tops. And I was debating on putting a brace the other way which really probably wouldn't be a bad idea because if you're moving these things, what are you going to do? You're going to grab hold of the end and you're going to pull. And you hit a crack in the concrete or whatever. The last thing somebody needs is to have that sucker buckle and lay down on top of them. So, yeah, I'll probably do that too. At least brace up close to here. Although there's not a whole lot of good place to brace because... This is so wide, the chairs hang in, probably into here on each side. Which means I pretty much got to go to the center cross piece, which is fine. Really probably okay to this one, but probably better to run both of them to the center. Just more work, right? Well, that's where I'm at. Still dink with it for a while tonight. <laughs>